Hello and welcome to Arbon Sneak Peek. I am so excited you're here. I'm so excited to share with you what it's about just um, being an Arbon consultant. I want to start by saying uh, there will be three videos and three questions of the day. And for those of you who uh, tell me what the question of the day is and tell me the answers, you will be entered to win. Um, this protein powder, which it's $77 retail value. Um, and we have different flavors. This is our Simply One Fill Fit Vanilla. I mean, it's pretty big. Like, it's pretty big bag of 13 servings of um, pea and brown rice and um, cranberry protein. So it's, we do have vegan protein. Doesn't mean that we're vegan. I eat meat. Uh, I wouldn't say, I'm not speaking for all our bond consultants, but um, our products are vegan because our bodies naturally break down plants because um, the pH is more in alignment with, um, with, other, with other foods uh, such as meat, which is an animal. So it's gonna have a different, um, pH. So anyway, I don't know if that made sense. I got off track, but I tend to do that because I am very passionate about healthy living. But yeah, so you can get entered in to win by answering those questions of the day. So um, be sure to do that. Uh, and I will tell you more about that at the end. But today I wanted to start with why I am an Arbonne consultant and just to give you a little bit more of understanding of my story and why I am so passionate about this. So I'm going to take you back to high school. Um, you know, I think my healthy awareness came around like age 15. I had been playing sports for many years um, and in high school I found kind of my niche and I went to a smaller school so I was able to do a lot of things. I was able to do cheerleading, cross country, basketball, and track. Um, so I was constantly busy, but I remember like getting into the whole fat-free like cheese and fat-free milk and all of this stuff and just kind of drove my mom crazy about it. I would say like um, my my um, philosophy now doesn't support the fat-free stuff or dairy, and, but um, I'm going to get to that. But So I had very little knowledge of that. So going into college, um, you know, you have less time and you have... Um, you're like becoming this confused kind of young adult and ended up gaining some weight in college. Didn't know other than to run uh, my my life away, which I did. I loved to run at the, in those years. Um, and I, um, I just ran to like try to lose weight and didn't really concern myself much with what I was eating. So I would say like um, later on down the road, I, I learned that 80% of our weight loss or our healthy living is is what we are eating not our exercise that's about 20 percent of it exercise is important um as well so yeah so i um i just had a very small um knowledge of of what healthy eating was like um and so i would say over the years like into my 30s that this really caught up with me um i was going along as a 30 something year old and having lots of sinus issues, um, lots of gut issues, um, just lots of like little things, joint pains that uh, I thought were just like, okay, this is just part of getting older. Running feels a little bit harder and um, not, let's just like not feeling good, right? And um, so, yeah, so one day uh, I was introduced to um, Arbonne's 30 Days of Healthy Living, and um, Arbonne really came into my life because of the skincare. I absolutely love our skincare, but my friend who introduced me to the skincare was like, you really need to do a 30 Days of Healthy Living, and I'm just like, just not ready for it, you know? And so uh, a couple months later, I decided to look into it, and uh, I did the 30 Days of Healthy Living. I lost about nine pounds. That was really hard for me to get off. Um, just by changing um, really my relationship with food. Like I had this really big sugar craving. I had been eating uh, things like gluten and dairy, which I don't eat anymore. And um, by eliminating those things, I was able to, um, and add in, you know, the Arbonne products, I was able to eliminate, um, I don't have those problems anymore. And so uh, I just, I just remember like feeling kind of surprised like that I had gone along for so many years that oh I'm I should just feel bad I and it was like I'm not sick I don't have a serious disease but I don't feel good I thought that was just kind of part of life 
And then when it when it all went away, um, just by changing um, what I was eating and what I was consuming, and uh, just like just little like little uh, habits of reading labels and seeing what's going into my body, completely changed how I feel. I was taking Claritin every day. Um, for many years, I was living off of ibuprofen for the sinus headaches, um, and I had like back pain and knee pain and joint pain, and, and I don't have those things anymore because of the things that I've learned, and it's really a whole body awareness and opening my mind to like just taking care of the whole body and entering into a community who cares about the whole body. Um, not really just what we're eating, but what we're putting on our skin, what we're putting in our heads, what we're listening to, who we're surrounding ourselves with, and what kinds of things are we pouring in and who's leading us um, as well. And so I don't know if I'm just getting off topic, but that is a little bit about my story, um, like nutritional wise and how it really just, um, really just completely changed uh, and I'm and I'm gonna speak for my husband for a minute because he has scoliosis and he's really tall man he's six six and he um, had daily like it felt like it was increasing back pain and by changing uh, getting rid of the sugars and the gluten and, and inflammatory foods which we teach you at the 30 days healthy living um, it's gone. Like he doesn't live in that pain and we are able to manage like his scoliosis um, with just new things that we've been able to learn and not have to like have this like, I don't know. I don't know if y'all have had pain like, but it can make people's moods change. And so it's a life changer. Um, you know, I just remember um, speaking of like my mindset, just remember um, those moments of like not taking care of myself or not really understanding why I shouldn't eat gluten and um, loving like tons of dairy products, which was really giving me gut problems my entire life because I started drinking lactate in my 20s. I all, I all of a sudden couldn't couldn't drink milk anymore, um, but it was really just like an overall dairy allergy, which I believe contributed to my my allergy problem. Um, in general and having allergies, uh, I notice like if I do get dairy in my body because I, I avoid it, um, but if it does creep in when we're eating out, like my nose will start running. Um, so it's, it's a real thing for me and maybe not for you, but um, maybe so and maybe it can change your life on how you feel. But I just remember feeling bad. Um, I remember, um, you know, as far as like this job and getting to be an Arbonne consultant and sharing um, this with other people after what I've learned, like I remember being so busy in my physical therapy job, working 70 plus hours a week because I'm a home health physical therapist and I still get to do that, but now I get to do it part time. But I remember feeling so frustrated and burnt out and on top of that, not feeling good, right? And just like working myself and I just remember thinking, I cannot be 50 years old, like how is this gonna look? Um, and my outlook is completely different now because I feel really good and I'm like, I don't really see myself retiring. Uh, I And this isn't the case for everybody, but for me, um, you know, I, I remember praying and asking God, like, you're going to help me build this business. You're calling me to do this R1 business, but I don't want to stop being a physical therapist. And, um, and so he's really shown me how, like, I can do both part time and how um, to balance that out, as well as like opening my mind to like, by going part time, I have more freedom. I have more freedom with my schedule, with my time. In home health in general, you have more um, freedom with your schedule, but when you're full time, you don't have the flexibility to tell your, um, your office no when they need a patient scene. And now I have that freedom. I get to go where I wanna go. I get to make my own schedule and it's really, it really has been life changing. Um, I feel better. I don't feel burnt out. I don't feel frustrated. I don't feel sad. I don't feel confused about what foods I should be eating. Where one time I did, I didn't really understand. Um, you know, and I, I remember back in high school and I know I'm kind of bouncing around, so I'm sorry for that, but just like skinny was the focus. And now um, skinny doesn't always feel good. Like if you're not feeling your body properly. So now it's just like, if I, if I put in what I know I need to put in and I'm getting better and better at adding exercise back in after like my body going through some, some hard, um, small, but like 
uh, repetitive injuries, you know, of being a physical therapist and things like that, um, and adding, being able to add exercise back in and really just feel good, feel good about my mindset um, and feel good about my health and feel confident about when I go grocery shopping, I know exactly what um, to buy after after five years of uh, being on this healthy living journey, and I am so passionate about sharing that with other people. Um, I hope that gives you kind of a picture about uh, why I still do this and why I um, am here sharing this with you and invited you to this sneak peek. Um, I just want to make sure I didn't leave anything out. Yeah. So I just want to encourage you to stop thinking like, I can't do anything like that. This is not for me. Um, because I'll just tell you like, it is, it is an incredible journey. Like when we set our mind to something and, and specifically for me, for Arbonne and entering into this community and opening myself to grow in ways that I didn't know were even possible. I just pulled um, some books off because we are all into like personal development and just and I love um, faith-based books as well that also point me to God and what he has for my business. And so Change Your World by John C. Maxwell. These are just a few. And I've probably read close to 20 books. You Are the Girl for the Job and When in the Dark. Um, these are some really incredible books about just our mindset and uh, how uh, joining this business can help you go from what if it does work, right? Or not from, from that to that go from, uh, I can't do this. this, there's no possible way to what if it does. Like, just want to encourage you to make that shift. All right, so I just hope this was encouraging to you. I'm so thankful that you took your time, your 12 minutes to listen to this. Um, don't forget about the question of the day and the, the giveaway. It's free. All you have to do is listen to these videos that I'm so um, just thankful to be able to put together for you guys. And um, the question of the day for today is what sports did I play? There were four of them in high school that kept me busy um, with exercise uh, for those four years. Uh, just comment, uh, not comment, sorry, message me personally and um, uh, for this day one question of the day. And I will see you tomorrow. I hope you're doing great. Bye.